Let's calibrate the analog output weight transmitter using a low cell. First off, long press the first key from the left to enter parameter settings. The first parameter is SL, which represents zero point. At this point, the transmitter should read zero when there is no weight or force applied to the low cell. Long press the second key to modify the value. As you see here, it shows all zeros on the display, so that ensures there is no zero drift when low cell detects no weight. Now that we've checked the zero point, press the first key to confirm. Then the zero calibration is completed. Now we're going to apply some pressure to low cell. Let's apply a 100 kg weight to the low cell. And the following parameter is SH. Press the second key to start modification. Now we need to change it into 100. And we'll keep one decimal place, making it 100.0. Then press the first key to confirm modification. Then we press the first key again to locate parameter SD. SD represents the decimal place you want to keep. Press and hold the second key to enter it. Press the third key to choose among different decimal places as you like, and press the first key to confirm. Then keep pressing the first key until you find parameter CZ. CZ represents clear or zero. The output signal of the transmitter is 4 to 12 to 20 mA. That means the output current should be 12 mA when the low cell bears no weight. Now we remove the force from the cell and long press the second key to enter the modification mode. We'll use a monometer to measure the output current. Connect the red probe to the second terminal from the top on the adjacent terminal block. Connect the black probe to the negative terminal. With both probes being connected, you can see the monometer detects current. Now we need to address the value on the display to let the monometer read 12 mA for output current. To address the value, press the third key to increase it, and the second key to change digits. Change the value until the monometer reads 12. Alright, that's gonna do. Press the first key to confirm your operation. Then the next parameter is 09CF. Long press the second key to enter it. The operation is the same as the previous step, except that the millimeter reading is expected to be 20. Once the modification is complete, press the first key to confirm. Coming after that is parameter CR. It requires you to input the full range or rating capacity of the low cell. Long press the second key for modification. And just like the previous step, press the second key to change digits. And press the third key to increase the number. And we're changing the value into 100. Press the first key to confirm it. The relevant calibration parameters have now been modified as required. Press the first key to exit parameter settings. Now let's apply a 100 kg pressure to the low cell and verify if the reading is accurate. The device reads exactly as it is. Next, let's remove the force again and track the reading on the monometer. The monometer reading is now 12 mA without any force applied. Let's apply the full range weight to the low cell again. The monometer reading accordingly increases to 20 mA. And that marks the end for the calibration.